if you still want to mine this coin, continue watching. So right now, coming into the Asterisk Explorer, it looks vaguely familiar. Actually, pretty much identical to everything else out there that is forked from Caspa. This looks like a straight-up Caspa fork. Block reward reductions happening every month and so on. It's already 14.2% mined out. So that's going pretty fast here. So moving on forward, you're going to need a wallet in their website here. Actually, I'll go straight from scratch. If you come in, you can see right on their website web wallet at the very top that'll take you to this which again looks just like any other type of web wallet from casper here as it's forked from it so here you can go through the process set up your wallet put in a password get your seed phrase and make sure you write that down somewhere you will then get your address right here so now that we got a wallet address and a wallet all set up here let's show you how to mine this coin you're gonna need a miner so coming into the miner here srb miner does have support for asterisk here originally they had their own miner and you have to run a node and all that stuff but now there's finally some pools available or at least one pool mining for people which is who i will be pointing you towards here but srb miner 2.67 is the current latest version but you do not need that one if you scroll down here you can see asterisk was actually added in way back when about three weeks ago on 2.65 hive os is currently running 2.66 so that's the latest version you need here you do not need to update unless you want to uh if you're having issues on virus coin obviously you are going to want to update that for cpu mining but if you're just in for the gpus and you're not mining on your cpus you don't have to do anything fancy all right so once you do download and extract your miner you're going to come into srb miner and you're going to see start mining asterisk so we're going to right click on this hit the edit button and this is where you're going to fill out all your information all Already have mine all set up here but by default this is going to be on some foreign type of stratum here you're going to want to swap out your pool there we go it clicked on here you're going to see all your stratum servers right here so this one right here uh the fi or whatever it is is kind of crossed out right now this is what's going to be there by default so just copy the closest one to you whether you're in brazil india north america or europe in my case i was this one right here right click i'm going to copy this here are your stratum ports based on difficulties you want to set defaulted is 3394 anyway so just bring this up and paste that in right here you're going to keep the same port and everything here so you're just going to get rid of the default stratum unless you live in fi or wherever that was finland or i'm france i'm not sure what that stands for but you're just going to paste that in right there and you're done with that next up you're going to need your wallet address so you're going to add your wallet address into this slot right here that's pretty simple come into here this is blacked out it's really hard to see i kind of missed it. i started clicking here and going to the explorer but it does have a copy command right beside it right there click on that and then open up your miner and you're simply going to paste that in right beside the wallet so it's going to be dash dash wallet space and then simply put in your wallet address and then you're going to want to add your worker name it's going to look like this by default and then put in period 4090 is what i'm using then you're just going to simply go into hit file and save and everything is already done now for overclock settings i don't really know what to run i'm assuming it's kind of on the core base things but i never really played around with it yet so i'm using the lol miner gui here this is in all the latest versions of lol miner for the past six months to a year now so if you have one of these versions installed the lol miner gui will be in those files just right click it and run it as an administrator once you do that simply say you're overclocks i'm running my 4090 at 2400 core 300 offset and a locked memory at 5001 i haven't played around guys if you have better overclocking settings let me know down in the comments section i'm also going to bring up my afterburner here which i seem to have closed there it is it is here we can see my settings are already applied because i had it here so now once you get all your stuff set up hit the apply oc there obviously and you know it's there i already had mine so i didn't have to hit it so we're going to bring this up now and we're just going to double click on start mining after asterisk and you may get a prompt you know there's a virus or something so obviously add a windows exception or you can go into your windows and say allow minor connection all that good stuff but a lot of times you may not see it i've been dealing with srb minor for a while so it doesn't pop up for me anymore so now we're just going to wait here and kind of see what things look like all right so i just let it play out till i got my first kind of readouts on hash rate here and i do see something interesting if we look into here gpu zero this is my 4090 and gpu one that's actually my integrated 
integrated graphics on my 7950X. So it does look like it is mining as well, although I haven't seen it find any type of shares yet. So it might not be working. If I come in and look at the power, it's not really using any extra power. Here's GPU two and afterburner, which is the 4090. If I swap it over to GPU one in this case, we can see that it's kind of not really using any extra power. It's actually using a little bit less than what I was doing previously. So I don't know if it's actually working or not, but it is showing hash rate, at least on the minor side of things. All right, so Windows was pretty quick and easy. Now we're gonna jump into Hive OS and it's pretty easy as well. So if you're the first time working here and you don't have your wallet or anything installed, just jump into Hive OS and click on your wallets tab right here. And then we're gonna go to add wallet. So now we're gonna type coin and ticker. I don't think it's here by default, but I'm just gonna type in asterisk here and it's not here. So we're gonna create that coin paste in our wallet address from our web wallet, and then name this something like, I'm just gonna go asterisk web. That way I know it's my web wallet here. If I can spell it right, there we go. So just simply create that coin like so, all done. So now we're gonna come into our main rigs here. We're gonna click on flight sheets, and we're gonna wait for this thing to load, and now we're gonna type coin and ticker. So we just added asterisk, so it should show up now. Asterisk is there. Here's my web wallet that we just named here. Pool, we're gonna configure that in the miner. And obviously here we're gonna be using SRB miner. Remember the latest version of SRB miner is not here yet. You only need to update if you are do plan on mining Virus coin on your CPU or something. Other than that, everything is good to go. And I'm assuming HiveOS will update within the next couple of days anyway. Uh, next up, we're gonna enter the name. So I'm just gonna put asterisk and that's about it because there is only one pool. Now, obviously, if you are mining to your own node, you might want to put asterisk node or something so that you don't kind of get them mixed up. So now we're going to go to setup miner config here and we're going to set all these parameters. So the first thing we're going to want to do here is set our hashing algorithm. This is called asterisk hash. So it's put an asterisk here. You should see it should pop up a wallet. I'm just going to go like this worker name. I'm simply going to add that, but I like to cut this out of here and put it right beside. So I'm going to go wallet dot worker name paste that in right there server pool and port so we're going to come back into mining for people here and we're going to copy this copy north american mining for people but this time we will have to add our port here 3394 so now we're going to come back into hive os put in this and then followed by a port 3394 and then we're going to come into our password. We don't need that plugin and device config. So we are going to want to disable our CPU. So we don't, don't want this to use any part of our CPU or anything. That's pretty much all we need to do here and apply those changes. Once you've done that, create that flight sheet. So now I'm going to pick a rig. I'm actually going to run this on. I'm not sure which one yet. Um, I guess I'll just go with Octominer number two, which has, you know, some RTX 3060s, A2000s, RTX 3060. I'm just going to leave the same overclocks that I have in for like a Leo and stuff, which is 1500 core, 300 offset, 5001 memory. Again, I don't know what type of algo this is unless you play around with it. Again, let me know down in the comments if you got some overclocks for this. That way other people can see them as well. So we're just going to come into our flight sheet here, simply scroll on down, and then we're going to find asterisks. It should be the first one there always the newest flight sheet you make will always show up on top right underneath of your latest favorite one so that's where you can always stay up to date on those and then you can obviously if you favorite it obviously it'll show up up here and everything so anyway we're going to hit that send it to the moon and this should begin mining in a few minutes here now if it is taking a while and you're not sure why it's probably downloading the miner as you can see on this worker i didn't have this version of srb miner in yet so it had to download it but now it looks like it's loading things up and things are looking all right so we should start getting hash rate fairly soon here all right so about a minute went by and we can see that we are now starting to get some hash rate here it's slowly going to climb as those gpus do tune for a little bit if you first look here it's going to say gpu is auto tuning started hash rate will fluctuate while tuning here until eventually it gets all the numbers where it needs to be so we're sitting around 712. We're gonna make sure our rigs are detected at the pool here. You don't wanna be mining and figure out what's going on. Why is my wallet address here? Probably because you left a default or something. So you always wanna check at the pool to make sure your rigs are detected. So right here, we can see my 4090 is here as well as Octominer 2. Uh, I don't know why this isn't telling me. It seems like Linux does tell you where the stratum you're using, but it seems like my 4090 doesn't wanna tell me in Windows. Let me know if you're still, if you're having that as well in Windows or not regardless both rigs here are detected so now we just gotta wait out and mine yourself some coins